Remember Touch ID? Let's discuss why Apple brought it back and if they'll ever fully bring it back. Let's look at its history. Apple introduced Touch ID on the iPhone 5S back in 2013. This was the biggest step forward with iPhone security to date. This feature would last for many, many years, all the way up to the iPhone 8 and obviously more budget iPhone models a few years following 2017. But after the release of the iPhone 10, they replaced Touch ID with Face ID. This was amazing futuristic technology that Apple was passionate about and prioritized, but customers wanted both Touch ID and Face ID. So how could Apple solve this? Can they even bring it back? And did they bring it back? Let's look to 2020. During that time, Apple announced the release of the iPad Air 4 with a feature that everyone missed, Touch ID. According to Apple executives, they said, we wanted to get a full screen design and we wanted to get rid of the home button on the chin. And so we had to come up with another place for the Touch ID sensor. So they moved the Touch ID sensor to the power button for the iPad Air models. They then said it was challenging to put the Touch ID sensor inside the power button, not just because of the narrow aspect ratio, but also because we need to make sure that it doesn't interfere with other components. They also wanted to make sure that the Touch ID sensor would work alongside the antenna. Apple clearly never stopped caring about Touch ID, and that's why iPads got it. They care so much for it, like Face ID, that they tried to almost get it back on the iPhone. They couldn't make it work even on the power button unfortunately. This is according to Mark Gurman. So its future on iPhone isn't positive at the moment, but at least iPad users can still enjoy it.